Autumn means the start of voting season at the Baseball Hall of Fame, and this year's election cycle begins with 10 Golden Era Committee candidates, all of whom made their mark on the national pastime between 1947 and 1972. The Golden Era ballot features nine players and one executive, and will be considered by the committee during baseball's winter meetings in December. Any candidate who receives votes on at least 75% of all ballots cast will be inducted into the Hall of Fame as a member of the class of 2015. Candidates include Dick Allen, 1960s and 70s slugger, who won the 1964 NL Rookie of the Year Award with the Phillies, and the 1972 AL Most Valuable Player Award with the White Sox. Ken Boyer, an 11-time All-Star at third base, who won the 1964 NL MVP Award while leading the Cardinals to the World Series title. Gil Hodges, the longtime Dodgers first baseman who hit 370 home runs and later managed the 1969 Miracle Mets to the World Series crown. Bob Housel, who built the 1960s Cardinals and 1970s Reds as the team's general manager. Jim Cott, who won 283 games over four decades in the big leagues and won 16 Gold Glove awards. Mini Mignoso, a nine-time all-star outfielder who blazed a trail for Latin American players entering the big leagues in the 1950s. Tony Oliva, the three-time batting champion with the Twins, who is named to eight all-star games. Billy Pierce, the stylish lefty pitcher who won 211 games over 18 seasons. Louis Tiant, the four-time 20-game winner who totaled 229 career victories. And Maury Wills, the three-time World Series winner who set a new benchmark with 104 stolen bases during his National League MVP season in 1962. The results of the Golden Era Committee voting will be announced December the 8th, 2014. The class of 2015 will be inducted in Cooperstown on July the 26th. For a more in-depth look at the Golden Era Committee candidates, visit BaseballHall.org.